Hey everyone, welcome back to Deathmark. We just uh, cut through brush and went down trail. We just found, we just stopped a uh, a ghost from pulling us into death by lying to it. So, you know, lying is always an appropriate answer to ghosts. I step into the empty clearing. The air is filled with the buzzing of bees. Oh no, I hate that sound. There appears to be a giant beehive here. It probably wouldn't be wise to keep going without doing something about them first. These things are dangerous. Old man, don't push your luck. We beat a hasty retreat. I just had some coffee. For some reason, it seems that I got stuck in my throat for a second. That was weird. Uh, yeah, I actually had a bad experience with bees as a kid, and it freaked me out. I still hate bees, like a lot. I understand the good they do and everything like that. And I really like. I do like honey, especially like honey spread on toast. Delicious. But I can't stand the sound. And if I see a bee, even a bumblebee, actually no, bumblebees I'm pretty okay with because they're stupid. They're stupid looking and they're so cute and like they're big fluffy boys and just like. Like honestly, the, bee, the 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 size of those bees, the big boys with their tiny little wings, they should not be able to fly. And I know I'm actually just quoting the intro to Bee Movie, so I don't know why I did that, but that's how I feel about bees, and especially wasps and hornets. God, I hate those. There's a wooden box here that probably used to contain a beehive. Uh, I carefully approach it, but I don't see any bees. Okay, so let's feel it. I open the box and find a metal tool inside. I got a crowbar. Yeah, huh? What's this doing here? Yeah, why not grab it? Did I, did I grab it? I grabbed it, right? Okay, I did. I think I did. Where am I going then? There's nothing here. Why do we need the crowbar? Wait, I think I know why I need the crowbar. Oh, first of all, I gotta stop going the wrong way. I think the crowbar is going to be for... That's cool that they actually do use different uh, designs for everything, though. I really do like this about this game is that there are plenty of like they could have just cheaped it out and put the same same picture for each area but they actually have different directions going back and forth i think it's pretty neat good on you so let's go down the trail the toolbox that metal toolbox we need we could use the crowbar and maybe pry that open or maybe break open the box or something all right so take the flashlight let's go ahead and do this it's an old metal toolbox. Uh, crowbar. Infinite uses. I take out the crowbar and shove it under the lid of the toolbox. I put pressure on it using it as a lever. Nice. The toolbox pops open. Got sprayer. Ah, now I can use a variety of drugs. Okay. Manipulators will themselves be manipulated. What's that thing? The sudden voice makes me jump, but I shake it off and turn toward him. It's a tool that sprays chemicals and pesticides. You put the container of drugs in here and then do this. I quickly demonstrate how it works. Shu scratches his face, his brow furrowed. You sure know a lot, old man. I'll let you handle it then. And now I'm suddenly in charge of it. When I want to spray a drug, I'll have to choose which drug to use. But is this thing really that hard to figure out? I've never seen it before either, but I still knew how to use it right away. New info is that to the spirit file. Obtained a sprayer. <laughs> you basically got a hose. This is what's going on. Alright, can I use the... Okay, no, it's just something empty. So there's no point in going into that thing. And this, I think, was empty. All I find is dust. Yep. Okay. So back out we go. So I have the sprayer now, which means I can actually... Um... See, this one I gotta go backwards, but then it turns me around. So I'm facing this way, so we do this. So we have the sprayer, which means we can spray the, the bees, put them to sleep. I, I'm, I'm guessing that's what we do. I went the wrong way again. So we spray the bees, we put them to sleep. And then we can pass through the beast trail north, I think it was. Let's see. Pass C. North, there you go. Oh, that's footpath center. Okay, that makes sense. Got through brush, went down trail. I, I stepped in an empty clearing. So here's the bee. The air's full of buzzing of bees. There appears to be a giant beehive here. It probably wouldn't be wise to keep going without doing something about them first. Oh yeah, there's that. I take out the sprayer and hold it in one hand. I should be able to use this to spray drugs. Okay, so bag. Sprayer. Or not. Okay, cool. It's, like, it's kind of weird that it didn't let me do that. Uh, I could save. Might as well do that now, I guess. It's been a while since I saved, I think. Or not, I don't remember. Uh, we want to. Oh, wait, we gotta bring out the flashlight. Where's. Oh, there's the beehive. 
That's a giant beehive. I have no idea how far this bird can reach, but the hive's not too high up. I should be able to reach it. Uh, let's use a tool. Let's definitely not touch it. I already have the sprayer out. Now I need to choose which drug to spray. The night night. I take out the night night and put it in the sprayer. I take careful aim and spray the drug. The bees movement gets slower. Eventually the hive falls completely silent. Used up one bottle of night night. I've silenced every hive in this area. Now you can pass through. Yes. All right. Uh, way to go, old man. You got this. <laughs> He's oddly like cheerful about that whole situation. Uh, is there anything else in here? Not really. Okay. So we can go through here now. Oh my god, this place is massive. A lot bigger than I expected. Whoa. Did you just hear some kind of animal? I heard it. It sounds familiar. Turning around, I wonder if it's... It's the rabbit again. Yep, that rabbit hops in front of me. Uh, a bunny? The rabbit stares at us completely still. It's almost like it's waiting for us to follow. Hey, wait. The next thing I know, I'm rushing after it. Hey, where do you think you're going, old man? That rabbit was at H Elementary. It showed up and guided us when we were in trouble. That's not some normal rabbit. It's definitely acting with intent. Is it malicious intent? We'll find out. Alas, the rabbit guides me too. I don't know what this is, but it looks like there's a beehive, so I don't trust that. An old Shinto Tori gate. Oh, it's a Shinto temple. Okay. There's a shrine here? The rabbit looks back at me. Uh, then soundlessly it turns from the gate and hops into a bush nearby. Huh. Hey, old man. Don't mess with me like that. You're nuts running off like that. The hell's with that bunny anyway? Something's bothering me about it. I lost sight of it here, though. Just then, from out of the darkness. Oh, jeez. A swarm of bees descends upon us. Shit, watch out. There's bees everywhere. Damn, we gotta get out of here. Bees? Oh, my Nicholas Cage? She pulls my arm and we stumble back to the earlier crossroad. New info is at this beautiful file. Mysterious shrine. Fascinating. Uh, I don't know which way the shrine was, though. Uh, let's, can I do anything of this? Is it? That's definitely a noose. Okay. So I guess we're going to go down this way. Went to the right. Went up, go this way. Northbound. Check out. The buzzing of bees fill the area. Looks like there's another giant beehive here. It probably wouldn't be wise to keep going without doing something about them first. And I have no more night night. I take out the spray and hold it in one hand. I should be able to use it to spray drugs. I don't have any more night night though. It's a problem. Uh, so I need to find my way around... Or I need to find my way to more night night to be able to take the thing out. There's a hive here. Oh, wait, no, that's the same way. Wait, hold up. I went to the left. I thought. Went to the left, which should take me this way. Yeah, okay. Is this it? There's a leaning Jinzo statue. Jizo statue. I pat around the Jizu statue to search it, and there's a strange texture on its moss covered back. When I brush away the moss, I find a yellow paper stuck to the statue. I found a worn out talisman. Of course. <laughs> oh man. I am so freaking healthy though. Worn out talisman crumbles silently in my hand. Nice. So yeah, it seems like I don't actually recover all of my power, especially starting now. Just some sliding wooden doors. Open up. There's a small crack between the doors. I can only imagine that creates a bad draft. Open it up. The sliding doors won't open. They seem to be locked. Oh, then crowbar. Oosh. Take out the crowbar and jam it between the doors. Ooh. Yeah, do it. It's the fastest way. They can't break the lock. I throw my body weight behind the crowbar two or three times and then... Hey, there's a sound of metal breaking. What? The crowbar snaps completely into two pieces. Oh. Lost crowbar and got broken crowbar. Too much force, old man. At least the lock got busted, too. Good. Hurry it up and lo look inside. Alright, cool. So that means we can... Hopefully in this cabin we can find some more night-night. You overdid it, man. The door is a mess. You made it even harder to open now. I push the door open and step inside. Only to run into something. S stop. Don't come any closer. What are you doing here? If you come any closer, I'll I'll sue. Oh, you posh. Probably want to speak to a manager. 
A woman is backed up in a defensive stance. I'm a black belt in Taekwondo. If you try anything, I'll... Shut up, old lady. Old? As shoes roar, the woman shrieks and falls silent, eyes wide. It's incredibly rude, but honestly, I'm grateful. We wait for the woman to calm down before asking what she's doing here. Forgive me, it was all a misunderstanding on my part. I'm Christy Aramora, freelance news anchor, though I haven't done much recently. Wait, I've seen you. You're that woman that was in the news. She just said she was a news anchor. Of course she's that woman on the news. Wow, that's really true. Celebrities are more beautiful in person. We just called her old. <laughs> Cut that out. This isn't the time for flattery. She says that, but she doesn't sound that upset. She seems to love being complimented. Um, anyway, what are you doing out here? Her expression clouds over. Well, she huffs at me. You really have to ask. You lost your tact in your old age. What do we think she's going to offer herself to you now? Messy El Camora's face comes to mind. That's right. This place is... I was going to die. Yes, I know full well just how stupid that is. But sometimes that's the only choice you have left. Man, this video is going to get demonetized. <laughs> oh. Technically, it will get demonetized once I try to monetize it, I guess. I should have known better. Such a thoughtless question passed my lips. I wish I could blame the mark for this. <laughs> I forgot of what was this place was about. Oh, yeah. I heard something about you fooling around with another celebrity. Not that I care about that stuff. That's why I came out here. So I wouldn't cause trouble for anyone. At the very end, I thought about calling someone, but couldn't. So, so I made up my mind. But then in the forest... I have a bad feeling about this. What was in the forest? A huge man. An extremely huge man. No, no, actually, I'm not sure if it was really human or not, but I saw a figure like that. Then I suddenly got scared. So I ran into this cottage. I'm here to kill myself, and I just run away from danger. I'm a riot. You give plus one, plus one counter or haste when you enter the battlefield? Uh, what's wrong? <laughs> Shout out to anyone who got that, <laughs> that reference. What's, what's wrong? You two aren't saying anything. That's the same as what I... Yeah. Christy must have seen Shimio, which means she must also... Have you gotten a weird scar recently? One that stings every now and then? Hmm? I know the answer just from her reaction. How'd you know? I only just noticed it myself. There's a strange bite mark on my palm. Oh, the palm be a really weird place for that. Like, you're like, wow. Reminds me of like the the god, the, the pale man from Pan's Labyrinth. This is crazy. Someone receives the mark when they're already planning suicide. The height of irony. Hey, old man, what are we supposed to do now? That lady came to her off herself, you know. Is there any point in helping her? Help me! I'm not gonna kill myself anymore. I swear. So please, I'm terrified of him. Her eyes are serious. She must mean what she says. It might only be a temporary change of heart, but... Alright, we'll help you. Our home base is Cujo Mansion. We need to go. Wait, no, don't go yet. I gotta... Stop. Stop messing with the flashlight, old man. What? What's happening? The light won't turn on. This has happened before, but back then... I got it to go back on right away. But this time, it's not working. Oh, okay, yep. Yep, Shimio is coming. What was that? A noise from behind the cottage? Is something there? Everyone shut up. Shit, it's no use. Seriously, everyone shut up. I gave up on the flashlight and stuff in my bag. But what's the plan now? Do we bunker down in this cottage we can't even lock up? Or... We have to run out of the forest? Are you insane? Staying here would be suicide. This place is strangely clean. That means someone is coming here. You mean he comes here? Let's go. We walked all the way here. We should know how to get back. You're, you're seriously going? Are you mad? Sorry, but we're out of time. Stay here if you want. I won't stop you. Arr! We step out into the pitch blackness. Damn it, I can hardly see. Anyway, we need to go straight back to the entrance with no detours. We've got no idea where you could be waiting for us. The words leave me in a rush. If I hadn't spit them out, I'd never finish. My voices are going to shake too much. New info is added to the spirit file. A mark bearer in a cottage. Alright, we gotta go. So that means we gotta go reverse, turn around and head back. We gotta go, oh crap. 
We're at a fork already. Which way? Where do we go? I think east. We came from the east. Yeah. Okay. Yeah! Don't yell, old lady. Something's coming closer. We need to get out of here fast. Yeah, so we go that way. Oh, I mean, yeah, that way. I forgot how, ca how cameras work. We go forward. Got through the bush, went down the trail. We go to the right. Oh, God, stop this. Another fork? Which way this time? It's south. Yeah, it's south. The exit should be straight ahead from there. I mean, this is cool. Quiet. Something's passing through the bushes right by us. Shit, is he following us? Even if he is, we have to keep going. This is nuts. No way we can keep just standing around anymore. Right, let's go. So, oh, we went, oh, they almost tricked me up. They almost tricked me up. We gotta go this way. Turn around and head it back. And now we just go forward. Move forward. Move forward. Come on. Wait a second. Chrissy suddenly stops. What's wrong? Someone's coming. Yeah, we know that. Oh my god, we've been doing this for the past like five pages. I'm telling you, someone's coming. Out from the darkness jumps. Oh, what are you doing here, Rashida? Listen here, buddy. You're supposed to be back at the mansion. So this is where you were. You're closer than I thought. Wait, why are you here? I had a bad feeling, so I grabbed the car and made my way here. Looks like you're in a rough spot. You can say that again. Anyway, we're on our way back. Good plan. Machida glanced over at Christy. Run now, explain later. We gotta get out of here. And we're out of the woods now. We reached the entrance safe and sound. The creepy murderer on the arch is such a familiar sight now. <laughs> Alright, if we made it this far, then we must be... Yeah, it's all good now. Dot, dot, dot. Christy doesn't move. She looks worried, staring off at the forest entrance. What's wrong? Huh? Oh. Um, over there. Doesn't it look like someone's there? She's looking at a picnic table hiding in the gloom next to the gate. My gaze is drawn over as if by magnets. What is that? Oh, God, that's... Okay, first of all, take a nice little picture of that for it. Sure, we'll go with that. Oh, God, is that... Oh, okay. He's just drinking a beer next to that guy. The scene before me is strange. So wait, did he actually hang himself? Because there's a he sounded like a bent neck. There's a huge misshapen man with bees crawling all over his face. My eyes fixate on his mouth. He looks like he's laughing. My heart thunders painfully when I catch a glimpse of the limp figure sitting beside him. It's him. That man. He was going to commit suicide. Masao Kimura. It's definitely him. Control those that are different and exercise. I don't, I don't know what that means, but okay. That strange voice echoes in my head again. My vision warps. He's dead. Kimura's dead. When? Why is he on that bench? My legs give out, and when I can finally focus enough, I find myself kneeling on the ground. Old man, keep it together. It's, it's still okay. He hasn't seen us. We have to escape while we can. Uh. Chrissy's completely out of it. She won't move an inch unless someone drags her. Let, let's go. We're going to the parking lot quietly. Shu, you bring her. You got it. Dot, dot, dot. Come on, Mashita. Let's go. Mashita? He's gone. Huh? I took my eyes off him for two seconds. He's not by the bench anymore. He disappeared. Oh, crap! A machine growls and the undergrowth near us rustles. Oh my god! Okay, first of all, that sound is a power drill. And he has a hand all. Not a power drill. He's right there! Run! Machine yells, scrambling away. A hollow bang runs out, rings out from behind me. A gunshot? It must be Machida. I had no idea he had a gun. I figured he had a gun. He's an ex-detective. I'm not going to go into an abandoned school and not do that. I died headfirst in my car, slamming my head accidentally into the steering wheel. Machida tumbles in the passenger seat last. You didn't tell me you had a gun. Why would I tell you? No time to talk now. Just hit the gas. I'm trying. The engine won't start. Shit. Old man, what 
<laughs> oh man, what are you doing? Ashida looks through the front windshield at the figure approaching. Hurry it up, he's coming. Sh shoot it! Shoot the fucking thing! Christy cowers in the backseat, her head in her hands. Please, God. Eek! Something bumps the hood of the car. The whole vehicle rocks violently, but then... It turned on. Go, let's get the hell out of here. Tyra squealing you race out of the parking lot. Dude, that was tense. I like that. That was a really cool part. <laughs> and that green car is always in front of us. Or yellow car? It's like yellowish green. I don't like... I think it's like yellow green, maybe. Vomit colored. I'll go with that one. An unspeakable sense of, an unspeakable sense of relief fills the car. If feeling truly alive is a real sensation, then it most definitely feels like this. The greatest irony is that the only time you can feel truly alive is when you have a brush with death. No one speaks for a while. We're all soaking in that feeling. It's only after we've left the mountain and reached buildings again that I feel like talking. Still, I glance through the rearview mirror and then at the passenger seat. Both Mashida and Shu are looking out their windows. Is it really okay for you to come here? If Mary finds out, obviously I came with her permission. Mashida immediately retorts. If I hadn't, I wouldn't have come. I get it. Mary must have also guessed that we were in danger. So what happens to that explanation? Who's that woman behind us? Oh, right. I tell him everything I know so far about Christy Aramora. She offers up some details as well. The moment her background comes to light, Ashita smiles coldly. Aramora, right now that you mention it, I do remember you. You were fired over that scandal. You? Why, I never... Should I be disgusted or amazed at his rudeness? <laughs> he is just such a dick. But these scars you all have. Uh, what were they called? Marks? Thanks. So you all have these marks. What happens when you have one? Or what happens when you have one? Well... Machida butts in from the passenger seat. You die within a few days' time, suffering from something like amnesia. You zone out and your brain takes a vacation. It all happened to me. Shu scoffs. You talk like it's someone else's problem. Shu. Machida didn't mean it like that. You can only be blunt when discussing this. It doesn't look like Shu will be by that excuse, though. Yes, it really is not your problem. After all, you don't have a mark anymore. Huh? What's he talking about? Oh, well, you see, Mashita has already lost Hanahiko's mark. He's free now, so there's no good reason for him to be here with us, but... You're putting yourself in danger for the truth? I can't believe it. You're like a saint. Chrissy's exaggerated compliment is drowned out by Mashita's sard sardonic nat laugh. It's nothing that noble, but thanks to that, I've learned the thing I most wanted to know. And what's that? When and how people get the mark. The first time I was oblivious, but this time I was aware of it. Hmm? Wait, he has another mark? Mashida, you don't mean... He gives me his usual crooked grin and shows me his wrist. Oh, come on, Mashida, you idiot! Sure enough, his skin is blemished by a scar that looks like a spirit's bite mark. Ah, oh, no. Shu cries out, a look of horror on his face. Come on, no way. Did you seriously do that? Man, give it up already. It's someone else's problem, right? So just shut up. Oh, God, idiot. He's going to die this chapter. I'm willing to bet. We might get Christy as a partner later on then. Mashida, could I say something? What's wrong? Nothing's wrong. You never told me you had a gun. Oh, that. He laughs scornfully and shoves a paper bag into my hands. I open the bag and find a revolver style handgun at the bottom. Why was this story in a paper bag? If you want it, take it. That's not why I... Mashita keeps on talking without stopping to hear what I have to say. It's loaded with five bullets. You can hang on to it. But promise me. Promise you what? Don't use it on anything other than a spirit. Not that there's any proof it'll work on them. Of course. Have any experience with guns? There's no way I would. To be fair, I don't really know. But at the very least, right now, I'm not getting the feeling that I can handle a gun. Oh, only use it under extreme stress. With no experience, you won't hit your mark. Well, whatever. If I'm there, just leave the shooting to me. You can face the spirit some other way. Okay, so if Mashita is the partner, we let him use the gun. We use something else. Yeah, that's how it was at HLMary too. 
And for God's sakes, keep it hitting. Hidden. Gun possession gets you three years pet penal labor. <laughs> he's an ex-detective who's dealing with ghosts, and he's still like, we gotta follow the laws, though. I mean, we gotta be responsible citizens. Uh, I'd get hit with one to ten myself just for giving it to you. And shooting a single bullet would get you more than three years, if not a life sentence. So you're telling me not to use it? No, I'm just telling you that if it's restricted that badly by the law, it's got that kind of power. Got handgun. Cool. Neat. The marsh color grows more vivid. Early dawn, a few hours left until death closes in. Oh, do we actually know that death's coming in now? Okay. It's just, I, it didn't really tell me a, a time frame. Welcome back, Lord Flames. Are her ch colors, ch are her clothes changing? I just realized that. I she was wearing a white outfit before. You as well, Lord Shu. It appears that the woman with you is also a mark bearer. We introduce Christy and then Mary proceeds to fill her on everything. The mark after your life, memory loss, and the spirits who curse them into the living. Christy accepts her new reality surprisingly quickly. I guess it's only natural after what she saw in the forest. I then update Mary on what we found. I see. What a close call for you. I can hear relief in her voice, but why did she let Mashita go? If you must know, after you left, Lord Mashita insisted on traveling to the forest as well. Her eyes flick over to Mashita. I'm not one to just sit around. Or I'm not one to just sit around. Mashita shrugs nonchalantly. It was quite the issue. A selfish attitude like that could get all of you mark bearers killed. I normally would have refused. Did something happen? No. I admit I had a foreboding feeling. I sense danger was closing in on you, Lord Flames, so he went. An emergency measure. Lord Mashita, please know that I will not allow such a thing a second time. Her cool voice is icier than usual. Mashita's so hard-headed, I wonder if she's actually getting through to him at all. Now, from what you've told me, you are positive that it was Shimio who gave Lord Shu his mark. Yeah. Yeah. That ugly monster's definitely the huge man I saw that time. The fact that I have the mark now, too, proves it. Mashita rubs at his wrist, smirking. So, what exactly are you planning? Don't tell me you're seriously thinking of fighting that thing. There's no way you'd win. You're completely mad if you think you can. She's right. A certain someone's awesome bullets didn't even scratch it. We need a tank or something to beat that thing. Dot dot dot. The room falls silent. I'm sure all of us are thinking about what we saw back at the forest. Yeah, that's pretty creepy. There's no way we can do anything about a monster like that. We have to leave it to the police. You honestly believe they'll do something? Go and make a suicide pact with that naive thinking but leave me out of it. What? How dare you? Yo, boss. All this high and mighty talk coming from you? That mean... You've got an idea how to beat it? How the hell would I know that? But I'm willing to risk my life to find one. His shot is hoarse. He's probably uneasy. Chrissy shivers. Chu just glares at Mashita. An awkward silence falls again. We're wasting time. We've got to do something, but... Okay, let's see. We've got to take charge, I think. Turning to Mary, like, just go this. I need to force everyone into action. We can think about what we need to do while we're walking around. I'm going back to the forest. I want to learn more about Shimio. I can use some help. Yeah, you say that, but no way we can find a needle in a haystack. we got to have a clue first. Then, why don't we check out the beef farm that's north of H Shrine? My reports say several people have seen Shimio there. Hardly anyone ever goes there now with the weird events in the forest. Why is a beef farm up there? I completely forgot about doing her voice. Holy crap. A cult called Honey Bee Family used to live on the land. No one's there anymore, though. How come? They committed mass suicide. A mass suicide in the woods. I've heard about that somewhere. Mashita might have mentioned something similar before we entered the forest. The tabloids and gossip shows ate it up five years ago. They never revealed the details, though, so the public doesn't know. Oh, yeah, I remember that. But my club took up all the time back then, so I don't know much. You seem to know quite a bit about the forest, Christy Aramora. Read up on it to find a primo spot. Don't be an ass. I was put in charge of the report, so I did my research. Honeybee family is very insular and secretive. I heard the mass suicide end was all the, mass the members following their leader. New channels chalked it up to their discontent with modern society. What happened to the leader? Rumors say it was also suicide, though... I saw an old picture of him, and he was a huge, obese man. 
what was he, Papa Koff or Noff from uh, Outlast 2? Suddenly everyone was holding their breath. No doubt we're picturing the same thing. The monster at the forest entrance. A dead guy has come back to life. We want to go to a place with a zombie? That's totally insane. It's just like the rumors say. That forest is cursed. There's no way I could. Just standing there, the voices of suicide victims surrounded me. Shut the hell up, hag. No more words out of those lip flaps. What? But now it's not only the forest that's cursed. I failed to kill myself, and now I'm at this mansion. I'm cursed, too. And so are all of you. Her mutters have a dark edge. All right, I mean, honestly, though, if there's a problem with all the cursed people coming together, the fact that the four of us are in the same mansion, is that a problem? I'm wondering. If Shimio is somehow connected to the Honeybee family, then the key to destroying his grudge is going to be there. All right. Oh, right. What are you going to do, old lady? You still want to die? I'm considering it, but I'll help you guys while I settle up my decision. I'll pass on monster fighting. Wow, you'll help? I'm shocked. If you leave your mark alone, you won't need to hike back out there. Well, I hate owing strangers, especially pushy guys like you. She seems grateful that we saved her. There's no reason to refuse her help. We need as much as we can get. Okay. So, the night is drawing to a close. The key to escaping the mark does seem to lie within the forest. Lady Chrissy says Shimio is often seen near the bee farm. It may hold a connection to him. Good luck. All right, so we got to select a partner. New info says a spirit file, temporary retreat, and we can choose a partner. I'm thinking that uh, Satori might be a good partner, actually. Um, can I? I don't know if I can select her though. I'm actually interested in who I should pick, actually. Uh, because Satori could use the gun. Shu kind of is just less of a snark than Satori is, though. And Christy, I don't really know much about Christy. I feel like I do. I want to do. Uh, what does Christy have? Okay, cool. What does she have on her? She didn't give me anything, but I got the baseball bat from Shu. Only Shu can use baseball bat. Okay, so we want to bring Shu. If he can use the baseball bat, we want to bring him. And, in fact, we're going to go back into the woods in the next episode. I hope you all are enjoying this series. This game is really cool. It's also surprisingly a lot longer than I expected. And... The fact there's no voice acting means I have to take breaks throughout recording, but I hope you all enjoy this series and my voices. If you did, let me know what your favorite voice actor is in the comments down below. So it could be from cartoon, video game, whatever. I personally like Troy Baker, but I also like Tara Strong as well. Uh, I like Troy Baker because of Bioshock Infinite. I like Tara Strong because she's literally voiced every freaking character I can think of at this point. Bubbles, uh, Kylie from Ghostbusters Extreme. I There's more, but I really can't. I think she was Endive in, uh, in Chowder. She does a lot of stuff. I think she was she, been, she was either Raven or Starfire. No, she was Terra. She was Terra and Teen Titans. Anyway, <laughs> I hope you all enjoyed this video and the series. And if you are, let me know in the comments down below. Leave a thumbs up. I really do appreciate that. And make sure you're subscribed to get this nice new content or go live while live streaming. Live streaming. And as always, have a great day. Remember to burn bright. I'll talk to you later. Bye.